A flashy new Israeli business venture is turning heads, getting lots of attention, and keeping urban commuters happy. Stephanie Freed in Tel Aviv has our story. From Berlin to Manhattan to Beijing, a staple of the urban experience is cabbing it. Waiting, hailing, and forking over hard-earned cash for backseat travel. But what if moving from place to place took a different turn? Welcome to the karaoke taxi. You want to sing? Sing, Gan, sing, sing 80s music. You like this, baby? The latest in Tel Aviv travel, an entertainment center on wheels. Karaoke taxi is exactly what it sounds like. A cab decked out with a karaoke machine, professional mixer, separate microphones for driver and passengers, a double subwoofer, three display screens, 10 speakers, a big dose of flash, and lots of tchotchkes. The entrepreneur driver invested $10,000 into this rolling business that he says is the only venture of its kind in town. You know what? Really good singers get a bonus, a free ride home at the end of the night. There's no getting around the element of fun here. Hey, 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 so, how was it? Wow, amazing. First time? Yes. The driver is funny and it's fun to do, go to go with the driver and the music. Cruising city streets, the novel and loud transport mode is a definite attention magnet. Some drivers admire the initiative, but say they're sticking with old school. Do you think he makes more money than you do? Yeah. Really? Because uh, all the kids like him, you know, all the karaoke, all the music, all the light. So people like it. I don't like this one. I quite like Yossi says singing in transit makes people happy. Most of his passengers, doctors, lawyers, and politicians included, grab the mic and give it a go. There's no doubt about the fact that this is a fun experience, and people say that traveling in the karaoke taxi makes parting with the money at the end of the ride a little bit easier. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Tel Aviv.